Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing this series of top 10 favorites to win this year's Roland Garros. So the plan is that today we will do another top 10 favorites. So we'll do two of them. We have already done uh, Djokovic and Nadal. Today we'll do another two. Then tomorrow probably another two. And then of course on Sunday when the Roland Garros is already starting we will do uh, the 7th and 8th top favorite and then on Monday we will do the 9th and 10th biggest favorite so this is the plan so we won't able we will not be able to manage to do all of the top 10 favorites before actually the French Open will start this Sunday but we'll try to do as many of them before the start as possible and then of course um, in the span of the uh, first two days of the Roland Garros uh, I am hoping that I will have um, all videos out published uh, with all of the top 10 favorites to win this year's French Open. So guys, without further ado, we have already done a video on Novak Djokovic and Rafa Nadal. If you have not seen those videos, definitely go and check them, them out. And right now we will be talking about the current, current world number five, Stefanos Tsitsipas from Greece. So, Tsitsipas is currently the youngest player in ATP top 10 ranking. Uh, he is the highest ranked Greek player in history. Uh, he is currently world number five. This is his highest ranking. And of course, he has won the 2019 edition of the NITO ATP finals, which he won at a very young age. He was actually the youngest winner of the NITO ATP finals in 18 years. So also that shows you how good of a player Stefanos Tsitsipas really is right now. He's still only 22 years old, so he has a lot of years left in his uh, probably very, very bright career that he has ahead of him. He has so far won seven singles ATP titles. Of course, he is often playing uh, doubles with his brother, Petros Tsitsipas. They are a very, very nice family and they are really close to each other. And I think that's great that the two brothers enjoy playing doubles together. And... Um, Stefanos Tsitsipas, he really had a very, very bright career from the very young age. He uh, was, as a junior, ranked number one in the world. So, um, you know, it was from the very beginning, it looked like it would be a very successful career for Stefanos Tsitsipas. And uh, he's putting there a lot of hard work and it's going very, very well for him indeed. And um, of course, his mother, I do believe she was a professional tennis player uh, on VT, uh, WHTA, uh, so on the Women's uh, Tennis Association. She was playing tennis and his father, I do believe, was a tennis coach. So it is a tennis family, Stefan Tsitsipas. I do believe that he first uh, took racket into his hands at the age of three. He started to have lessons already at the age of six. So really from the very beginning, Stefan Tsitsipas, um, he has achieved a lot. He was having success at the juniors years, as I have said, he was the world uh, number one in juniors and right now he's continuing that very successful stretch also at the highest level with uh, men's, with men basically. And um, so Stefano Tsitsipas, he won his first ATP match in late 2017 and since then it has been quite some ride for the Greek god as we can also call him. He has reached in his career so far once again. He's still only 22 years old but he has already reached three Grand Slams semifinals. 2019 and this year, 2021 semifinals at the Australian Open and last year semifinals at the French Open or Roland Garros. So it will be very interesting to see if Stefano Tsitsipas can once again reach the semifinals and maybe even potentially be aiming higher to reach that final and maybe who knows, win his first ever Grand Slam in just over two weeks time. Should be great to see how he will handle the pressure in the next two weeks in Roland Garros. So what about Stefano Tsitsipas and his season 2021 on clay? He has played really a lot of matches on clay so far this season, already five tournaments for him. 
Uh, in April, he started with a tournament in Monte Carlo, which he actually won. So there couldn't have been, uh, there could not have been a better start to this clay season for Stefano Tsitsipas than winning Masters 1000 title in Monte Carlo. In the final, he was able to defeat the Russian Andrei Rublev in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. Then, in April as well, he reached final in Barcelona where he lost in three sets, that was a very tight battle uh, against Rafa Nadal. 4-6 first set, then Tsitsipas winning the second set, 7-6 in tiebreak, and he eventually lost the deciding third set, 5-7. Then in Madrid, he, um, he was knocked out already at round of 16 against the high-flying Kasper Root. Kasper Root has just an amazing play season so far, and Kasper Root was able to actually defeat Stefano Tsitsipas in Madrid at the round of 16 in straight sets uh, 6-7 and 4-6. So there was kind of a surprise that Stefano Tsitsipas was knocked out already at the round of 16. And definitely a huge disappointment for Tsitsipas in Madrid. But then in Rome, he reached uh, he reached quarterfinals and he was playing very well against Novak Djokovic until the match had to be post postponed because of the rain and the match was uh, or the match continued on the next day and Novak Djokovic was able to come back. Uh, I do believe he also was saving a match point in the in that game. It was just amazing comeback by the world number one and Stefano Tsitsipas in Rome in the quarterfinals event losing in three sets uh, six four five seven and five seven and then his last tournament for Stefano Tsitsipas last week in Lyon uh, Stefano Tsitsipas was able to get a win there he won in the final against Nori in straight sets uh, six three and six three so this so far this season two titles on clay for Stefano Tsitsipas he is definitely feeling very well on clay currently and he has been playing amazingly well so far this season he has won I do believe already 33 matches on ATP Tour so far this season. The most um, of any player on ATP Tour. He's the most winning player so far this season. He has been amazing on clay as well. Titles in Monte Carlo and in Lyon. He has reached final in Barcelona. Of course, a very disappointing defeat against Casper Ruud in Madrid, but overall it has been a very, very successful season indeed for Stefano Tsitsipas, and he will be hoping that he can do some damage against Rafa Nadal in Roland Garros. Should be a great one to see how far can the Greek god go this time. Of course, next year, uh, last year he has reached semifinals in Roland Garros. What about last year for Stefano City pass at the French Open? So he started with a very tough match against the Spanish guy Munar in the round of 128. That match went to five sets. It was a it was a really big drama. City pass losing the first two sets, 4-6 and 2-6 respectively, but the Greek god was able to come back and he eventually won the last three sets of that match, 6-1, 6-4, 6-4. Then in round of 64 he was playing against the Uruguayan player uh, Pablo Cuevas he won in three sets 6-1, uh, 6-4 and 6-2 in the round of 32 he was facing Bedene and he won 6-1, 6-2 and 3-1 in the last set Bedene then retired and in round of 16 he met Grigor Dimitrov uh, Stefano Tsitsipas was able to beat Grigor Dimitrov in three sets 6-3-7-6-6-2, so after that first round, after that five sets battle against the Spanish guy Munar, Tsitsipas was able to win his next four matches in three sets. So uh, quarterfinals against uh, Andre Rublev, uh, victory for Tsitsipas coming after the sets ended uh, in 7-5, 6-2 and 6-3. And in semifinals Tsitsipas was uh, playing against Novak Djokovic. Tsitsipas lost the first two sets against the world number one, 3 6 and 2 6. He was able to come back, win another two sets, 7 5 and 6 4, but eventually he lost the decider 1 6. So um, Tsitsipas was knocked out against Djokovic in the semifinals. Of course, 
Tsitsipas was also knocked out in Rome this year against Djokovic in the quarterfinals. So definitely, if they meet this year at the French Open, Tsitsipas would want some kind of a revenge against Novak. We should see if he will be able to do that. But that's all for Stefanos Tsitsipas and his ambitions before Roland Garros 2021 will start. Definitely, uh, Tsitsipas, the current world number five, will be aiming high. He will want to be in the final, maybe eventually win the whole thing, win the title. We'll see if he will be able to do that. But I have said it in my previous videos. I think if there are two players that could challenge Rafa, Nadal this year at the Roland Garros, it could be only Novak Djokovic or Stefanos Tsitsipas. And yeah, it should be a great one to see how far Stefanos Tsitsipas can go this time. So guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely subscribe, please guys. If you haven't already, also leave a like down below and share your thoughts in the comment section below as always. And tell me how far do you think Stefanos Tsitsipas can go this time. That's all for today's video and we'll be talking about the Russian Andrei Rublev next. So stay tuned, see you soon guys, bye.